Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Did you ever have a prepper wake up call? Well, we had one here yesterday in Alaska. You know, you try to plan for all of the things that could happen. What are the events and the risks that most likely happen where you live? Are they hurricanes, tornadoes, winter storms, floods, forest fires? Uh, all kinds of things could happen, earthquakes. Yesterday there was an earthquake in Alaska. It was quite a ways away from where I live, but I all of a sudden the electronics went off and we were under a tsunami warning. That a tsunami was heading this way and everybody needed to get at least 100 feet above sea level or two miles inland. And so these are the kind of things you just never know. You need to take a wake up call that at any moment your life could be in danger. You need to be prepared for anything that comes along. I was not expecting a tsunami warning while I was having lunch, but these are the kind of things that can happen. What can we do as preppers to make sure that we have the things we need? First of all, make sure that you have a full pantry and bottled water, stored water on hand. Make sure that you have a bug out bag and that you've included things for your children that you've included a bug out plan for your pets. Don't forget the vulnerable family members. Plan to stay as safe as possible in your home. Check that you have smoke alarms that are functioning. Make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector. Do you have fire extinguishers? Are they still fresh and loaded? Check the gauge on them. If you have upper floors, make sure that you have a fire escape ladder. What if you have a loss of technology? Do you have written recipes that you even know how to use your food storage? Do you have tools so that you can fix and repair things that are needed? Do you have water filters so that you could purify any water that was contaminated? Water coming into your home isn't necessarily always safe to drink. There are problems that can occur that the water flowing into your home, you could go under a boil alert or you just run out and then you have to find a secondary location where you have to collect water and then you'll need to filter it to make sure that you're safe. The number one cause of disease in third world countries is drinking contaminated water. You don't want to take any chance that you become sick during an already emergency situation. What if you have to leave in a hurry? Do you know where you're going? How you'll get there? Do you have a paper map? Is your car full of gas? Do you have some cash on hand? What if you're separated from your loved ones? Do you have a meeting place that you know how you could find each other and communicate even if cell phones and power are not working? Don't be complacent. Be ready to take the next step and be prepared to be in charge of yourself no matter what the situation is. Document the contents of your home for your insurance purposes because we just don't know what could happen. So take this as a wake up call. You don't want to wait until your electronics are going off with alarms and you are being told to evacuate, there's an emergency, because you just never know what can happen. But if we're prepared and we've thought about what the risks are, then we don't panic. We can put into place the plans that we've made so we can make the best of whatever situation comes our way. Luckily, we're all safe here. Thank you, Lord. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.